In a not-so-distant future, the world had transformed into a harmonious tapestry of interconnected communities. The age-old boundaries of countries and passports were mere remnants of history, as humanity had come to realize that unity and shared purpose were far more valuable than divisions. In this world, the idea of nations had evolved into self-governing districts, each with its own unique culture and identity. The districts were formed based on shared interests, values, and aspirations, rather than arbitrary geographic lines. The names of these districts were carefully chosen through a democratic process, reflecting the aspirations of the people who lived there. One could choose to live in any district they felt a connection to, and finding a place to settle was as simple as finding a community that resonated with their passions, dreams, and goals. Jobs and businesses were not confined by borders either. People could pursue their passions and talents anywhere they pleased, contributing to the betterment of their chosen district and the world as a whole. The concept of a single global currency had replaced the complexities of numerous currencies. It ensured economic equality and efficiency, while taxes were levied fairly and transparently. A progressive tax system guaranteed that everyone contributed according to their means, and those who earned less than what was necessary for a decent life were exempt from taxation. Basic social support was an inherent right for all. The districts recognized that by ensuring the well-being of every individual, they were nurturing a stronger, more resilient society. Education, health care, and other essential services were readily available to all, fostering an environment where everyone had the opportunity to thrive. The elimination of artificial borders and the embracing of shared values had brought humanity closer together than ever before. The flags of each district represented their distinct identities, waving in unity alongside the flags of neighboring districts. These flags told stories of creativity, diversity, and collaboration. Crime had become a rarity in this world. With the focus on community, shared purpose, and equal opportunities, the factors that often drove individuals toward criminal activities were greatly diminished. People were encouraged to engage in dialogue and conflict resolution, building bridges instead of walls. Law enforcement, now serving as facilitators of justice rather than enforcers of authority, were deeply integrated into their communities. The world had realized that humanity's strength lay not in the division of its people, but in the unity of its ideas and dreams, the legacy of this world was one of progress, compassion, and prosperity. It showed that when people came together with open hearts and minds, they could overcome any challenge and create a world that surpassed even their wildest imaginations, creating a world as described, where there are no borders, where people have the freedom to choose where to live and work, and where basic social support is provided to all, is a complex and ambitious idea. While it's not impossible, there are several significant challenges and obstacles that would need to be overcome. Let's explore both the possibilities and the potential barriers. Possibilities. One, advancements in technology. With technological advancements in communication, transportation, and infrastructure, the physical barriers that exist today could be significantly reduced. This could make it easier for people to travel and live anywhere fostering a more globally connected society. Two, international cooperation. If countries and governments were willing to relinquish some of their sovereignty for the greater good, a world with fewer borders could be envisioned. International treaties and agreements that prioritize shared values and cooperation over nationalism could contribute to this vision. Three, economic integration. A single global currency and fair taxation system might be feasible through international economic cooperation. Advancements in financial technology could help facilitate such a system, ensuring transparency and fairness in financial transactions. 4. Cultural evolution. As people become more interconnected through travel, communication, and exposure to different cultures, there could be a shift in societal attitudes toward more inclusiveness and understanding, making the concept of a borderless world more feasible. Barriers? 1. Nationalism and identity. Nationalism and cultural identity are deeply ingrained in societies, and the idea of giving up national boundaries might be met with resistance. Many people derive their sense of belonging from their country, and letting go of that could be difficult. 2. Economic disparities. Achieving a fair and equitable global economic system would be challenging 
as different regions have varying levels of development, resources, and industries. Implementing a universal standard of living and taxation might be met with opposition from those who stand to lose. Three, political power structures. Governments and political leaders often derive power from maintaining control over territories and resources. A borderless world could threaten their authority, leading to resistance from those in power. 4. Legal and regulatory challenges. The legal systems, regulations, and policies of different countries are complex and often conflicting. Harmonizing these systems to create a borderless world would require extensive negotiation and compromise. 5. Security concerns. The absence of physical borders could potentially complicate matters of national security and law enforcement. Striking a balance between individual freedom and societal safety would be a challenge. 6. Resistance to change. Human beings are often resistant to significant changes, especially those that challenge the status quo. Overcoming inertia and convincing people to embrace such a radical transformation would be a formidable task. In conclusion, while the idea of a borderless world with free movement, fair taxation, and basic social support for all is appealing, it faces substantial challenges rooted in economic, political, cultural, and psychological factors. Achieving such a world would require a paradigm shift in the way societies and individuals perceive their identities, rights, and responsibilities. It would necessitate a remarkable level of international cooperation, visionary leadership, and the ability to address deeply ingrained concerns and interests. While it may be difficult to fully realize this vision, the concept can still serve as a thought-provoking exploration of what could be achieved through global unity and collaboration. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to listen to this story. I hope you found it thought-provoking and inspiring. Remember, stories have the power to spark discussions and imagination. If you have any thoughts, questions, or ideas about the concept we discussed, please feel free to share them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more engaging stories and discussions. Thanks again for being a part of this journey.